welcome back to my channel it's been a long time but i decided to finally film my jomar um palette unboxing and it's boiling hot outside i live in washington and this is like record-breaking heat um but thankfully my office is pretty cool right now so i figured it was a good time before i'm dripping sweat to film but I purchased this Jomar palette quite a while ago. At that point, it was called, I think they might still have it off and on. It's called the Hybrid Palette. It was their silver and gold palette. If you hear noises in the background, it's my little helper. <laughs> I have a daughter. She's playing down here. Um, but I purchased the Hybrid Palette. I'm going to put how much it cost up here. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I've had this for a while now. Um, some of it's listed. Some of it's sold. So this is going to be my haul today. And then I'm going to do more of an overall Jomar experience um, review for you. And then, um, and then I'll also do a what's sold so far video. Because some of it has already sold. Um, and not, of it, not all of it is listed yet so that's good that i'm already getting some sales rolling in even though i'm still working through it it's been a crazy first like six months of the, <laughs> the year i'm sure it has been for everybody but things are just taking a little bit longer than i had hoped we're making progress it's all good let's get into the haul so i'm gonna start with dresses i got a ton of show me your moo moo in here and i had actually already purchased a show me your moo moo box from them which was great it was their like wedding bridesmaids dresses and i think only two out of um the ones that i got had any sort of damage um so that was good but what i got in this palette and actually one of these has sold already so um so we have this halter dress it's the luna halter i have sold this from the other box that I got of Show Me Your Moo Moo, and it was an XXL, I think. It sold for $65, so I was happy with that. Um, this is a very classic style. This is the Caitlyn. I should know all these by heart by now after listing them all. We have a Heather halter. Here's the front of it. At a kind of low back. Another Caitlyn. Another <laughs> Caitlyn. Um, I believe this is Je a Jen. And this one didn't come with any sort of tags, which is fine. Um, I was happy to see this in there because it was a little different than the bridesmaids dresses. Although I am happy to sit on those. They do sit for a bit, but I just sold one the other day for $75. So it's definitely worth, worth the wait. But um, this little romper is so cute for a bride. It's in a size large if you're interested. Um, this was a different one. This is the Caitlyn again, but it is in a satin finish trying to go through this as fast as I can. Um, this is a wrap dress. What's the name on this guy? Sophia wrap dress. Personally, I love wrap dresses. Um, this guy, what are you? It has a short slip, which is kind of nice. It's got more of a sheer detail on the bottom. This is a Kendall in navy. Um, this is another Kendall, I believe. I love this blue. This blue is so pretty. I think it's called like steel blue or steel chiffon. And this is that same color in the Hacienda. It's like an off the shoulder maxi. Um, let's see, do I have more? I'm definitely gonna have to break this up into separate videos. So I'll probably do dresses, tops, <laughs> and then bottoms. There you go. Um, what is this one? This is a cool one. It's long sleeve. This is a Venus flare long sleeve. Really pretty color. Um, and then I believe this is a Kendall as well. So really happy with those. Okay, I got a bunch of these. Um, these are from 
TJ Maxx. Um, but the original retail was $212 on these. They're all new with tags. They're this flare leg black jumpsuit. Super classic. Um, how many of these do I have? One, two, Um, I got 10 of those and I had an extra small. They're mostly smalls and I had a medium and I think a large as well. Um, I got this. I think this is just a boutique brand by the brand Pharaoh. Pretty uh, floral wrap dress. It's got a little like flutter sleeve kind of detail. Um, this is probably one of my favorite things from the palette. This is a new to me brand. I'm going to get close to the Danny Joe, I want to say, <laughs> is what it looks like to me. This is super on trend, silk, um, like full length um, slip dress. These retail for, I think, almost $300. They resell for like $200, I think. They resell really well. I kind of don't even want to get rid of this. I kind of want to keep it, but also like, do I have an occasion to wear that? I have some weddings coming up. Is the slip dress appropriate for a wedding? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> looking for an excuse. A lot of these brands are new to me. So like that one was, this is a new to me brand, Audrey 3x1. This brand seems to be kind of a low return. This is a really cute style though. This little summer dress. Um, off the shoulder, smocked, super on trend. We've got, <laughs> we've got, um, oh, this is new tag Zara. There was a lot of Zara in this and believe it or not, that is what has been selling is Zara pieces because there are like current pieces. This is the current Zara tag. So if you find this and it's like a good style, you find it at a good price, not super high, um resale value but that stuff is selling really fast for me around the 18 dollars mark this new with tags it's got a slip under it it's really pretty it's got a lot of like ties and stuff i could not find a stock photo of this um because i feel like my photos do not do it justice and i'm not really exactly sure how it's supposed to be worn so um this is by the brand by smith I think this line is discontinued. This is 100% silk. It's really pretty. I think somebody will be happy to grab it. I just put this at like $29 because it's not a current style and the brand is discontinued, but still in really great condition. I have never seen this brand before. Love Sadie is actually um, Urban Outfitters um, and it's really cute. It's a good color, good blue, like little shift dress. We have and other stories, um, like long sleeve, and it's kind of a thicker stretch material. So I imagine this would be really flattering. I might keep this because I just got my uh, real estate license. And so this is how I dress for my current job. And I can't really go showing houses in this. So maybe I need to keep some of these pieces. This is such a like nightlife clubbing dress or would be so cute for like a bachelorette party. Um, this is by the brand Tiger Mist. It's an Australian brand. I sold this before um, and it's got a really cool like low back with this little twist detail, really flattering ruching. I am too old to be wearing this sort of thing, but I think it's super fun for a bachelorette party or just going out with friends. Um, I got several of this brand. This is Susanna Monaco and, um, the retail is pretty high on these. I think they sell it at Nordstrom, Shop Up, Revolve. Um, and this is really cute. It's got the flounce bottom and a flare sleeve. I'm out of breath already. <coughs> <sighs> More Urban Outfitters. This is Silence and Noise. Um, this looks unworn to me, but I'm going to go ahead and call it pre-owned. 
There's no tags or anything. It's really cute. Um, let me zip up the back. So all of these things that I'm mentioning right now are already listed in my closet if you're interested, but you can also reach out to me on Instagram directly um, if you'd like to go about it that way. I do um, PayPal that way. And I'll give you my Instagram fam, my YouTube fam, a discount. Um, I can't find much about this brand. So if you're familiar, I want to say it's from Bloomingdale's from what I've seen. Um, I think it's discontinued Sunjo Moon Paris. And it says retailed for $125. So much of this was new with tags or samples. Um, we have ASOS brand. Um, I'm not sure what you call this. Give me some good keywords because I... <laughs> didn't know what to list it as is it like a caftan is it a swimsuit cover-up is it missing a slip i don't know because the slits on both sides go all the way up to like here you can have one of those stickers sure we've got more current zara i love this color if i was taller i would probably keep this i don't know Maybe this would work. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I've got my toddler down here. Um, it's got this little pleated bottom. This reminds me of like Gossip Girls or something. I love that. Um, doo -doo -doo. This is really cool, I think. Um, this is just Uniqlo. They do a lot of collaborations. And this is one they did with the designer Hannah Tajima. I am so sorry if I'm butchering that. But um, she's a UK born fashion designer and blogger who's gained international attention with her progressive blends of contemporary design and traditional values. So a lot of her pieces are made to be modest. Um, and so I love that this is more of like, it's a trendy color. It's got really pretty detail and it is completely a floor length um, and completely modest. The sleeve is a little bit long and a little bit full. So new tags and I love adding some more interesting like modest pieces to my closet because there are a lot of people that are looking for that sort of thing. So love that line. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of. What come, what goes around comes around. Um, this again is a line that was discontinued very expensive when it existed missing a button but no worries um it has the tag still actually didn't even check if there's a extra button in here nope no extra button but they're very um like common looking buttons so easy to replace what you need love you need something I'll finish up with this one in a minute okay and then we'll go upstairs um lots of lost and wander and lost and wander um is carried at a bunch of different places nordstrom shop bop revolve um a lot of boutiques and they retail for like over a hundred dollars generally the dresses do at least these are all samples so they all came with this and they have like the vendor information on it um, so I can't decide if I'm going to like kind of peel that, that stuff off, but really, really well made, um, stuff. Everything is fully lined. It all just feels really nice. Um, this is a romper you can wear off the shoulder on the shoulder. There's my little one. This is definitely a brand that's new to me and a brand you should be on the lookout for Charlie holiday. So this is really, really cute. This is another Charlie Holiday. It's this really fun color. It's called Papaya. It's kind of like a melony papaya color. Um, and it's like a maxi slash, it would definitely be maxi on me. It might be a midi on somebody that's over 5'1". <laughs> um, we've got another Lost and Wander, little mini dress here. Um, more new tags, Zara, current Zara. This is really pretty. It's got pleats, little dress. 
This is Wilfred. This is sold at Aritzia. I love this brand personally. Look at how pretty the back is. Um, this isn't new. I get the feeling this is used, which is fine. Um, black dresses are so hard to photograph and do justice. I might just use this for myself because I really am a sucker for a good back detail. Um, and this is just a really nice uh, little black dress with pockets. Black eagles. We have more Lost and Wander. This is another uh, more modest option, I think. Um, bless you. It's got a flutter sleeve, kind of a higher neckline, and then it is full length. It feels like a linen blend, but these are samples, so they don't have the content tags, unfortunately. Don't quote me on that. Let me just double check. What so it does have this little tag on the inside, but it doesn't have the content. It's called wine linen, but it doesn't describe it as linen being its fabric content. And what I found with a lot of these is I cannot find, um, even though I have the style name, I'm not finding any stock photos or original listings for these. So I don't know if these ever made it to production. Do you know what I mean? They're samples. So I don't know if they ever made it to production because I have seen some of them in the same fabric with the same name but they're a totally different style and construction so i'm not sure another lost and wander i love this one this one's so pretty um midi length this kind of reminds me of like self-portrait or something for some reason maybe it's this little detail but um fully lined again such pretty detail and well made Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, it's just like this fully smocked, I guess it's got this little tie bodice, but it's really flattering, super on trend. These are all smalls, by the way, because they're samples. Um, and then this one is the same daisy print, but in this really pretty green. More smocking, little keyhole detail, little back detail. This dress has everything in its midi length. Button front, love this one. Another really on trend piece is this slip dress, midi length, and it's got this really strappy back detail. So pretty. More Lost and Wander. Uh, romper, really cute. Um, smocked sleeve um, and again it's fully lined so no worries on panties showing through or anything and then this this I think would be such a pretty uh, romper to transition into fall I know we're like in the beginning of summer right now but um, this would transition really nicely just because of the color scheme I feel like and because of the high neck long sleeve situation but it is a romper um so pretty you can see that it's got a little bit of like a pointel kind of a texture okay we're getting towards the end of dresses i promise um and then this is by the brand samantha Leibowitz. from what i can tell this line has been discontinued but i'm really excited because all these pieces are extra large and xxl and they're so cute and flattering, really lightweight for summer. Um, this is called the Tuxedo Maxi. I want to say like the Amy Tuxedo Maxi. Um, cute little buttons all the way down the front with this kind of abstract print. And then I also have it, I love the hanger, but I also have it in just some black and white. This is like a true kind of tuxedo configuration here with the colors. Um, this one is also extra ah. large. What? There was tigers in my new house. Uh-oh. Ah. Um, then we have another Samantha Leibowitz. Pretty color blocked dress. This one's an XL. And then these are so fun. <laughs> this is called a sus their suspender skirt. Um, it's adjustable. Oh, those are so fun, Mama. Yeah, they're so fun. It's adjustable, so you can adjust the straps higher or lower, depending on how tall you are. And how fun is that? I wish I had one in my Mama. size. Um, 
extra large and are you trying to get out from there? Uh huh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, extra large. Why? Why? I'm filming. Um, okay, so in this colorway, I have three extra larges and um, an XXL. And then this is very classic. This would run through any season. I've got this one in extra large. Extra and extra large. So just XLs in the black, solid black. Then we've got, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name. <laughs> Comptoir, Comptoir de <laughs> Catanier. I took French in high school, can you tell? Um, that's not a joke, but I didn't, I don't remember any of it. Okay, so this, I think, translates to an extra large. It's silk, really pretty classic, a little shift dress. Um, it's a size three in that brand, if you're familiar with their sizing. And then last for dresses for now is this faux leather, new with tags. Um, Andrew, it's Mark New York, Andrew Mark New York, which I think they're pretty extensive, new. Um, resale is super all over the place. Um, I think their leather jackets do well, but. All right, so that is everything for my first Jomar palette haul. Let me know if you enjoyed this and I'll keep doing them. I have tops that I'll do, a ton of tops. Um, I have bottoms, skirts, um, and some of those I can combine kind of into one uh, video, but swimsuit tops um, and <laughs> pick me up. But I have a ton of thoughts, ton to talk about. So let me know if you're interested. Um, sorry about my mess that my toddler drug out. If you're a stay-at-home mom and you're doing this, um, I feel ya. <laughs> it's not always the easiest, but I'm so grateful to be able to do this at home with my toddler. How old are you going to be? Three. Oh, wow. You're so good. Okay. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>